battery and specifically automotive electrification is evolving very quickly. At 3M, we are very interested in how our products are used in applications. That is why we invest in labs like we are here looking at today and understanding how our products work, how OEMs and customers perceive our products in their applications, and how we feel that we can develop by knowing that information, uh, better products and better solutions. I'm Mark Fairbanks. I lead the verification and validation portion of the Automotive Electrification Incubation Lab. We at 3M have a long history in automotive testing. We are very well aware of validation and global requirements that are needed to release an automobile. Validation tests at OEMs and global standard tests use the whole system. We need to be able to do that in small scale so we can screen materials quickly and ensure that our materials are going to meet the requirements once OEMs take it to the validation and global regulations. At 3M, we use a pyramid structure for our testing. At the base is material testing, which is needed for basic modeling and data cards. In the middle is all about aging and cycling of materials so that we can verify our materials will work at the end of their life like they do in the beginning of their life. And at the top is component testing. At 3M, we have invested in both materials testing and component testing, which is really small-scale simulations of what OEMs are going to use for their validation testing. That allows us to bring them real data to ensure that the materials that we're bringing them will pass small-scale simulation tests, which should mimic their large-scale OEM tests. Component testing is all the way up to 15 kilowatt hours, so we are able to mimic small-scale applications up to 15 kilowatt hours and do actual thermal runaway events, abuse testing, and be able to prove that our materials will work in actual thermal runaway events. That gives us the most confidence and also gives the OEM the most confidence that will survive validation testing. This is helping us in our product development and our customers in their design goals, and this is really needed in this rapidly expanding environment.